Um, Hello. Hi, James. Can you hear me? Yes, Mustafa. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. I I think on YouTube I I go by the name AI Stories. Oh no way! Yeah. I know you. Yeah, yeah. I hope I haven't just doxed you right now. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. That's cool. Um, thanks. It's uh, it's great to meet you. I see you all the time on our on our street. Yeah, it, I I love uh, seeing your stream. It's so motivating, you know, because when you're building stuff, you just run into so many things that you haven't thought of, and you know, it's just good to see how different people, you know, approach problems. And especially somebody with like a lot of experience in the domain. So that's really <laughs> insightful. Thanks. Um, it's been really fun. I've actually learned like so many different new things since I started doing it. Um, so I just try and go into everyone with like a, a fresh mind. And if I don't know what to do, then we'll just like learn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I think that's a very good approach. Uh, when you're like trying to build something generally yeah because like even if you keep programming for years and years and years like there's still going to be so much stuff that you don't know yeah so. it's, it's like it's like a never-ending ocean you know and it's and every day is such a humbling experience you're like i thought i knew how this thing worked but then it turns <laughs> out i actually have no clue how this thing works you know <laughs> yeah I was just going through, you know, how to set up Git with someone and, you know, it's still like, still I'm looking stuff up all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually very recently discovered what Git is. Cool. And, you know, and for me, it's been a game changer. You know, once you actually like figure out that it's more of a habit and, you know, you, you yeah. figure out how to work with it. I yeah. think you can deliver more quality, but I don't know, but it's the, I think the space is very interesting right now. There's so many tools and so many things available, you know, and that's like, I started make with GPT, you mm -hmm. know, the idea was, uh, it was like, you know, can you use chat GPT to like make something, right? Yeah. So I, I wanted to, so I have the site open. So I, I wanted to do games because I'm trying to get into game development. So I thought this would be a good exercise as well. Cool. Want to walk me through what you made already? I checked it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. So. So there's a uh, this uh, landing page which which has like these four buttons. So I'll try to yeah. explain what I was thinking of with each button. So let me open it up. Here it is. Here I'm on it right now. Yeah. So the black button is like you know um, is like games uh, that are already there. So if you can click it. Mm -hmm. This is like a, a fruit ninja. Yeah, the, this like skips over the games. So I think this is like a flappy bird. So you click, yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. And then this, so the red button or the black button will always take me here? No, it will skip. It will take you to the next game. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is... This game is kind of different from the rest of the game. And I'll talk about this game because this game I actually designed myself using GPD but like the idea is mine I've never seen this game before <laughs> yeah it, uh, can you refresh I'll show you how to like get it going just just refresh yeah don't do anything okay don't do anything <laughs> okay now move 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 now you can shoot them oh so you have to do that first. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway, the, this game is really buggy. We, we, we should skip it. There's lots of bugs in this game. We'll talk, we can talk about that later. Oh, cool. OK. This is like the Hangman. So 
Do I type letters? Yeah, I think, I, yeah. Over here, I think if you press the uh, key and press enter, been pretty good so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I guess that one already. Um, <sighs> crap. <laughs> oh. Grape. Grape, yeah. Okay, so uh, this was uh, if the orange. I think we're done with it. That's all there is with the black button. Okay. Uh, so this cool. was the orange button was just a... Uh, this is a game made by somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's a, this basket, it's open source. So I just wanted to test if I could, you know, uh, run this game correctly. So this was just a, yeah, it's really hard. Actually, and uh, I just, uh, this is designed kind of for the mobile. Yeah, so, that's the nice. mm. Oh, fun. Cool. I guess this is what, what it's like being a YouTube streamer when you just play games. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. So <laughs> this, this the red button is, uh, I was uh, experimenting with this. Uh, um, do you know 3JS? Have you heard yeah. of 3JS? Yeah. yeah. So I was uh, experimenting with 3JS and this was like a little boat scene that I made. This is wild. Whoa. Yeah, but there's there's some things that really annoy me, like like the boat is not oriented correctly, and I for the life of me couldn't figure that out. Like, oh, we could figure that out. Wow. Yeah, it just looks like it's a super windy day, but it's it's going. Sometimes it's going upwind, which is a little weird. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of issues with this one, uh, but but it was really like. This really got me excited. I I, I didn't think you know this I'd be amazing. able to. This is amazing. Um, I I've, I've never made something like this. Although I I've made I've just played around a little bit with 3JS, but this is cool. Now I think the boat is. That's cool. What happens if I press this? Uh, I I think it just takes you to the next scene. Oh yeah. So this is just another scene I was, yeah, that's some culling issues there, but this is a dude and you can click and you can walk and you can like. Cool. Love it. Boxing stance and then. And I, I think this is how I like started with, with it. Pretty cool. So here, what? Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I can eat them. I, cool. I have no idea what, where. I think I draw. I don't know. I just wanted to like try this perspective, and then I was like, let's just leave it at where it's at. Sure. That's cool. And then. And, and mm -hmm. so this button, we'd actually need to. Do you have, we need another person, like you need, and you need a mobile phone for this button oh, really? to make any sense. Yeah. So, um, so, so basically, I'll... yeah. So basically if, if you're, if you have a phone, so you can put your finger and you can move the balls, the pedals. So, oh, like that. Yeah. Like so multi-touch. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I forgot you can do that with the with the touch screen. Um, no, I don't have like um, I can't do it right now. My phone is recording actually. So no, 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 it's fine. It's I just wanted to like just explain the concept. That's cool. Okay, so now you have to tell me how you made all this. That's really. Um, um, I just Eddie Guerrero most of it. <laughs> do you know who Eddie Guerrero is? No. Nah. He's a WWE wrestler, and he had this his, he had this tagline, you know, lie, cheat, and steal. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I what I did was I just uh, 
I, I so my I went to Chat GPT and I just you know started asking it questions about you know if this is what I want to do, what's the code for it, you know, how would I host it, you know, and that's it was it's pretty chaotic the way I did it. I don't think it's, but that was the whole point of this exercise is, you know, just to have fun and, you know, not to think too much, just like make chat GPT do all the heavy lifting and, you know, yeah. and later try to reason about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, up. so for example, did chat GPT know where to get these assets or did you find the assets on the internet? No, I, I found the assets on the internet. Okay. Cool. But uh, I, I mean, I'm sure there's like some way to even automate that. Well, but... sometimes it does. Sometimes it will actually like hallucinate URLs and stuff, but sometimes it does know for games. Um, but often it, often it doesn't have like a great selection. That's cool. Can you, can you walk me through some of the code for this? So the code is actually uh, hosted on GitHub. Let me just oh, send cool. you the link. Sure. Uh, let me just open my GitHub. This is open source. And let me yeah, copy this. And let me just paste it in the screen. There you go. Cool. And the code is pretty messed up. <laughs> Honest, but messed up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that goes for all of us. Let's see. Oh. It's. I was actually going really well with the uh, with the. I just opened it up on VS Code. I was going well with the. Oh yeah. With the code structure, and then. I don't know what happened and I just got really frustrated and I almost like scrapped this whole thing. Yeah. Um, as it, as a project gets bigger, it's much harder to use chat GPT to connect different parts. Yeah. 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 I, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> But yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, there's a proper way to do things and, you know, proper way to structure them and begin them. I think in the longer run, that's probably, you know, would, would suit us more. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, want to just walk me through, um, want to share your screen and just walk me through one of the projects. Um, it could be something that you really like, or it could just be one that you want to actually, we could actually change something together. Mm, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, this, uh, I'll, sh I'll try to, I think, so I'm making this, uh, well, um, how do I, so what should I do? Should I uh, show you this? I think this is, a, it's called Dota to Pixel. Yes. Yeah. I've just started it. Sure. Let's see. And um, how do I? Should I push it? Are you sure? Can I share my screen? Yeah, you can share at the bottom um, of this window. Oh, okay. Let me see. Present. Yeah. I think. Share mm -hmm. screen. I have two monitors. Share screen. But it's a lot nicer if you have two monitors. Uh, let me see which one do I want to share. Yeah, this one. I guess. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. I okay. So let's just go here. And let's go. Okay. This is sorry. It opened in the other screen. Let me just drag it. Cool. No, that's good. Make it make that font big. Okay, let's make the font bigger. I think it's command plus. Oh shit! Let me just figure out the key for that. Yeah. Control. I'm pretty control sure plus. it's control plus. Yeah. Is it? Is this better? 
Sure. So let's just start this up. So yeah, this is what it is right now. Wow. So we have this map and this character is moving on the map. Uh -huh. And yeah, so I, I can walk you to some of the idea of mm -hmm. what I'm thinking of what this is. So do you know of the game Dota? Um, yeah, I know and, of it. I've never, never played it. Oh, OK. So it's it's like you, you, uh, it's, it's similar to League. You know, League of Legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a, you're a team of five person and you're fighting another. Uh, there's three lanes and there's like a throne, and you know it's it's sort of a MMO, but ten people fighting each other, kind of game. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make like a pixel version of that. Cool, fun. Yeah. So I, I, I think it's, it's, so I just wanted to start with like some of uh, the APIs that I'm familiar with. So like, uh, you do know the Canvas API in JavaScript. Canvas API in JavaScript. Yeah, sure. So. I don't I use it do. much, but I don't use it much, but I've used it, yeah. Yeah. So I was just thinking of, you know, what's the best way to go about it? So there's this, um, uh, there's this guy I follow on YouTube uh, and uh, he's called Simon Dev. Okay. So he, he's a really good JavaScript guy and he basically has this repository on, on GitHub in which he hosts, in which he makes his own MMO with 3JS. Cool. And he writes uh, like some of the multiplayer logic in like using socket IO. Cool. Is so, that what you want to do? Yeah, I want to learn, basically, I think if I want to learn how to, you know, I can set up node correctly, you know, and how I just get more familiar with the back end. I think that'll be really good for me. Anything yeah. to do with Node would just be like good. So we can just do a, like a new Node project, even that would be great. Yeah, like I think you already have working multiplayer games. So like just having it run over a server is the next the next level. Okay. Cool. Um, where are you hosting your project right now? So this one. Uh... Uh, can you see my screen yeah. still? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this one is on, I think I'm hosting on Netify. On Netify, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I also use Netify for all of my static websites. Hmm. Yeah, I just found it to be just like easy. It's like way easier than the the next best things. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, so I, yeah, the next best might be GitHub pages, but Netlify is still easier by by quite a bit for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think ChatGP suggested it and you know, I, it was my infatuation days. I'm like, okay, let's go with it. <laughs> cool. Um, Cool. So yeah, um, do you want to add? Do you want to add Node.js to the game that you're working on now? Yeah, I would love that. Cool. Um, let's walk. Let's have a look at this game just for a few minutes. See, so I can get a picture of. Okay. Of it. it looks awesome. How long did it take you to to make this? Uh, this game? Yeah. I, I don't think it took me that long. I basically like set up this and i think i was just starting to get into the process of you know getting socket io running or something yeah so, yeah but uh i just wanted to structure things correctly so you see i already have like an assets folder and like a scripts folder and then i think i installed node correctly because there's like or i don't know if, if there's i don't know how you're supposed to install node like and like the main like 
I don't know if this is the correct configuration of the project. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I just want to like, you know, maybe start fresh and, you know, just like get the node project configured correctly. Yeah, for sure. So let's go back to VS code. Okay. So um, you have um, a game and you have node modules. What's in uh, package.json? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, package.json, yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay. And then server.js, cool. And does this the server.js work when you run it? I I don't know. I don't think so. Like I think what's it is it npm start? No. Um I think it would actually be in this case no. it would just be node. Be yeah. Node server, yeah. Server doctor this. Amazing. Yeah. It works. It works. Yeah. <laughs> what it happens? Works. What happens if here you just do um, what was the what was the command in package.json? Was it npm? Uh, let me scroll up here. I oh, there is only there's only a test here. So yeah, there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. Okay. And then how are you? Oh, and then the game itself. That's just. Um, script.js which runs in your browser right it's, it's, it's just like a, it's just like a map and a character and just like a simple event listener that mm -hmm. calculates the new position and moves the character to the new position Got it. yeah 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 cool cool um cool yeah um well this is working um let's have a look at at least the server's running. Let's have a look at the server.js file, see what's in there. All right. Now, let's just like go through it um, from the beginning. Does this all make sense to you, what's in this file? Uh, I think till like, till like this part, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, even till this part, I. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, mm. I don't. This line don't does not make too much sense, even though it says what it's doing. Yeah, cool. So socket.io, you probably know, but it's used to basically stream data back and forth from the browser and the server after the page is already loaded. Oh um, yeah. Actually, I haven't. Actually, I haven't really messed around with it, but that would be a really fun project to do. So, um, basically, so, uh huh. Go on. So, um, uh, my original goal. This is something I deviate was to just get like to just like to get a square, like a mm -hmm. like a five by five pixel square. Mm -hmm. That whenever I click, the square moves there. And for example, if you enter from your browser, you get your own square. Mm -hmm. And just like, you know, can we match that 2D movement of the squares over the server? I think that it's in itself would be like a like a big project, but I think you'll get to learn a lot if you can just like get two squares moving. And you know, if you if you're interpol inter using interpolation at the server side. Uh, using wow. like a like a library like GSAP, do you know of GSAP? GSAP, um, I ran into it recently. Actually, what what is GSAP? It's like again? Some, I think uh, it's like green oh, stocks. Yeah. yeah, for animations. Yeah, so uh, I I was looking at this other YouTuber uh, who was making a multiplayer game, and you know. Uh -huh. During like his video, I figured out, oh, this like it gets really multiplayer gets really complex if you're like even doing something like very simple because when you're using like socket dio, you're like have to emit events. And you know, there's a uh, there's a 
So when you're emitting events from the server, it takes time because people are like at different places. So mm -hmm. it's a bit tricky to like, you know, get like multiplayer working. Yeah, there's a lot of timing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of timing, fine details. Um, yeah. And <laughs> bugs that can come from that. The, the basic, um, Oh yeah, thanks Ahmed. How you doing? Yeah, except for animations, yeah. Exactly. So the simplest example that people do, maybe you've seen it for WebSockets, is like making like a chat, a chat bot. Yeah, but um, that's boring. I want I want like a more uh, you know, for me, I want I to see people move. So <laughs> I, yeah, I think it's boring. I think it's boring, and then I also think like actually your project is not much more. It's not really more complicated than that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, if you yeah. really, if you think about it, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. It is so, probably less complex than that. Um, so, so uh, uh, usually the way I go about it, like, so let's just four would be a bit slow. I go to three point five. I'd be like, okay, let's just make a new. Let's just make a new directory. Let's call it James. And then CD into James. Okay. Let's just open this up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have a blank slate to work with. maximize this let's get the terminal okay so i think since we want to do node is it node dash v or version i'm not really sure okay um, maybe dash v not sure so i have node installed which is good yeah we just used it actually, so that's good. Um, and I also have NPM. Yeah. So, oh. so what are we oh. going to make? Yeah. So we want to make uh, two squares. I think, should we like make a planning file? I think let's, uh, can we make like a whiteboard in which we can just like write the steps that we want to do? Is that something yeah, that sure. you know, do you, should do you, want me to, should, do you want me to open a Google Doc? I can do that. Yeah, that would be lovely. Let me do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Cool. What's the game called? Uh, let's just call it simple squares. Simple squares. Okay. So what do we need? We need an HTML structure, right? Like some mm -hmm. HTML, HTML page and some JavaScript and some CSS that I know for sure. Mm -hmm. That is the front end. Okay. Yep, that would be our front end. And for the back end, we'll be using Node. And Jane, you would know. Uh, I just because I'm just saying I'm not very comfortable with the back end. So th that's all. That's all I'm going to contribute to this conversation. <laughs> for <Sure>. now, <laughs> you'll be you'll be comfortable with it before you know it. So, okay. so um, let's do the front end first anyways. Okay. So sh let's, should I go to my editor? Or let's plan it out. What do we want to put in there? So usually I, I just go like touch index and touch uh, main and just mm -hmm. style touch style. And I make those three pages. Yep. And then I have like this Emmet extension installed on my VS Code. So when I write HTML and press tab, it just gives like a 
basic doc. So I fill that in, link in the style sheet uh, or on the JavaScript. And then there's, that's how I go. That's basically the way I do it. Yeah, no, that's great. What? So is this game going to be the same, the same as the one you just showed me? Uh, because Dota, the Dota underscore pixel. Yeah. Or is this going to be something different? No, it's going to be, uh, the same, but if we, if we can get the squares going, it'll be much easier to get the game going. That's the way I think about it, but I'm not sure if that's the correct approach. So do you want to just copy that project and then add sock, add sockets to it? Yeah, that, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, that is what I actually want, but, uh, I just want to start. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. That's let's do that. But I just want to start with a new directory so that like nothing from the old messes up the new, do you get what I'm saying? Um, no, not really. I mean, you could just copy, you could just duplicate the existing project, right? Okay. But, so, um, but is so this, you're, you're saying I should work in the same folder. Um, I'm saying like that your front end looks really good. Right. So it's almost finished. Right. So yeah. we would oh, just copy the front end. Oh, okay, if it were sorry. me, yeah. If it were me, I'd probably just add a back end and then connect it up. Right. Yeah. That, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Let me just do go you, ahead and do that. Is it connected to Git? Is it connected to Git already? Uh, no. Okay, then that's fine. Just copy. Just just copy the whole directory into a new one. Okay. This one. Let's see. Yeah. Or just the game. Or do you want the? I, should we do copy all oh, this as well? Thing. The whole thing is great. Yeah, because you, you already even have a back end there. Yeah, if you start over, you're just gonna like, um, you're just gonna be starting from scratch when you've already done all of this hard work, actually. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a very valid point. You got a server that works. You got an interface, no errors. Yeah, let's just. You're right. Let's just go. Let's just go there, and just let's work in this repository, and let's just try to understand it. Okay, so we're here. Awesome. I mean, I'm in the. Just let me just close this other. Okay, so we have. So with this now, what we want is. So this is like me, and I'm the only player, right? So yeah. So if somebody else joins, for simplicity's sake, he just like. He gets the same image, but he joins on the opposite side. Should, should that be our first step? Sure. Um, or even for the first step, maybe just put them in this. Maybe we'll maybe just have like one starting place, or we can make a random starting place. Okay. Um, maybe a little bit easier, just for the very very first version. Yeah. Okay. Or version zero. And yeah what we what we can do is basically um basically this is what you have now you have your front end we have when the user clicks the mouse the square moves yeah that's pretty much your code and then the yeah. back end, <laughs> we have nothing right now but it's but it works <laughs> we have working nothing Working um, uh, <laughs> okay. And what we want is basically this. When the user clicks the mouse, one, the square moves, two, um, the back end gets a message that, um, that the square moved, and then also when another user's 
square moves. Well, um, that square is displayed here. So, so it's getting more complicated pretty fast, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it just, I think uh, let's let's uh, simple it down. Let's just first try to get two users. Like it'd be really cool if you and can join this page from yeah. your browser. Let's just For sure. let's just Although, keep it at that. Let's uh, and you know so if you can see uh, something in the console that says view user one and user two, I think that'll be just a great start. I think so too. Although honestly, three users is not much more complicated than two users. Um, so, so how do you how do you think like how should we approach that? Should we just like my usual go to is just go to ChatGPT and then try to <laughs> work your way up? Actually, you you may be able to write the whole thing in ChatGPT. I'm not going to discourage that. Do you want to try it? Oh uh, yeah. We can. I definitely want to try it. I want to see. Um, so, what do you think should be the prompt for this? Should so, I or should I do that? Should I? Do you want to see my attempt at that? Um, sure. I, I mean, up to you. I could tell you what I would do. Okay. I I would actually want to. Yeah. I that's. I think that'll be more value for me. So, if if that's okay, I would love that. Sure. Yeah. Um, of course. Uh, of course, yeah. Um, so let me just, do I have the, is this one on, oh, this one's not on GitHub. That's fine, I'll just tell you what I would do, okay? Okay. I'll just tell you. So what I would do is I would actually copy um, all of my JavaScript code. Okay. Uh, and I would then copy, so I would copy, um, can you make it a bit bigger? Uh, yeah, sure. I would copy script.js into ChatGPT, and I would copy server.js into ChatGPT. Okay, let's do that. Copy, paste, shift, enter, and then. Yeah. Where because as far as relationships go, um, what's happening in these files is very, very connected. Okay. Um, and they'll always have to be edited together. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I would, and then I would say, you know, for the, for these two files. Um, so I have pasted script dot.js and then server.js mm -hmm. yeah and then i would kind of describe the multiplayer functionality that i want to add oh um, okay so you were saying so you would go like i want i want monitor user to have to join this game. Yeah. Uh, um, and for his, yeah, and for his square to show up. Um, for his, I think character is like, would sure. make more sense. Uh, and for his character to show up on the yeah. map. On the map. It, yeah. And then I would probably say, I'd probably be clear, like, we want to use socket stop. We want to use sockets to, want to use socket.io to communicate uh -huh. between the server and the client. Yeah. Should we hit it up? Yeah, and if you want to even be more clear, maybe all clients, because in this case, there will be one server and two clients. 
Yeah. Do it. Okay. Let's see where it goes. I think I think it can handle this, but yeah. this, I, it's, 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 it's giving suggestions that actually make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is pretty much what we were talking about. Um, yeah. And so what it's doing is it's creating it's creating a variable in Node.js that stores the position of all of the users. Oh. So that would yes. be in the memory of the server. See, see, now that you told me that, that now everything makes a lot more sense. A lot of things are coming back to me now, <laughs> just, just because you said that. <laughs> yeah. It's basically just, um, let me just oh. go. Here, it, I mean, it's basically this. It's just you have your server, which is running on an actual server somewhere, um, and then you have on, and then you might have, you know, you might have many clients, right? Yep. And these are this is the web sockets for all of them. Yeah. So yeah, it's a little complicated fast, but this should this should be doable and fun. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead back and try to see what. So it says make this variable users, and then it does this function call. Is this, is this a function call, right? What is this? That is an event listener. Event listener. Yeah. Um, yeah, an event listener, you know, is like, okay, when the toaster is finished, ring the bell, um, something like that. Okay. So it says, thanks, I could tell you. But I don't think, do we have, mm, so now I have, I have uh, some questions. Sure. Like, uh, I don't think Saga.io is installed or is it installed? So, oh yeah, so good point. So you need to have, do you mean on the server or on the client? Uh, in our case, does it have to be installed on both? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So, so when you mean the client, so do we, uh, do we have to like actually get like a specific version of, of that library and have it as a script file in our project? Pretty much. Yeah. Like you can have, it's basically, it's a JavaScript file that gets loaded. Um, and it can be on our server. It can be on another server, but it just has to be loaded. So. Um, actually, I think if you keep scrolling down in the code generated by GPT, it it might make sense. But let's see if they let's see if it thought of that. Um, ah, okay, it hasn't thought of that yet, but that's okay. We can uh, we can remind it about that. It's just gonna yeah. be one. It's just gonna be one line of code. Okay. So what should I? Um... Should the I reason it? why is that the reason why is that that actually goes in your HTML. Oh, no, if you want to add another JavaScript file, right, that'll go in your HTML. Okay. Yeah. But, but that's not a big deal. Um, I would, I would say, let's have a look at this code, make sure that it makes sense to us. That's really okay. the most important thing. Yeah, that, that that's, that's your would be on point. So right. So let's see, it's, it's making, okay. It's making a connection and then it says, a, then it's logging a user connected with this socket.io ID. 
Yeah, so can you select everything inside of the connection event? Just like with your with your mouse, can you just show me like everything inside of the event handler? It goes, it's basically the whole thing. Yeah, oh. everything. So all of this gets run yeah. every time a new person connects to the game. Yeah, okay. And 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 then it says it says client side script.js listen for the game states. Mm -hmm. So uh, what so this is the code that will be on our back end and this is the code that'll be on our front end. Is is that Yep. Am I getting that right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so I think I need to make, so this is the change from what I've understood. I think if you, if I go to the like script dot J, this is the new script dot JS essentially, isn't it? So should I, should I just copy this and like paste it? Like, yeah, uh, but, but there's something missing actually. You know why? Uh, let's have a closer look at your let's have a closer look at your HTML file that we didn't do before. Yeah. So there's a reason why this HTML file cannot work for multiple players. Yep. Which is that there's there's only one character, right? Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. So there's two ways to fix this. Mm -hmm. um, one is that we could, um, so one is that we could just copy and paste that in the HTML. So then we will have two characters. <laughs> um, of course, then you're kind of stuck with two characters then. So it's not like a, a great fix. Yeah. Another would be that we remove that from the HTML and then we we turn it, we move it into the JavaScript file so that the JavaScript actually creates the character rather than the HTML. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, because then then we can rewrite it with ChatGPT to have a hundred characters, right? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, let's um let's do that. So okay. So without changing any of the code, because the first thing we need to do is we need to make it so that we can have multiple characters, right? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the that's the goal. Yeah. So go back to your HTML uh, file, and just um, copy. Um, Copy line 15. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then go back to chat. Make a new chat. I would make a new chat. And then paste that in. And then say, um, after that, say, please uh, give me the JavaScript code. To add this div. To add this div. Yeah. Um, into. Dynamic. Yeah, dynamically, that's good. Into the div. To add this div into. Yeah. In, in, into the div with. With ID. And then go back to the HTML. You'll see that the parent div had the ID game map, right? The, yeah. Yeah. So, so then in ChatGPT, we'll just say game, uh, game hyphen map. Yeah. And then that's it. So what this should give us is pretty, um, Whoa, this is like a long line of code. Yeah, it's kind of long. 
because the, all of the styles are in there too. <laughs> that's that's all. It's just because it has. Imagine, cool. Like imagine if you had to do this yourself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that bad. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, it's gonna give us um, a, another way of doing it as well. Yeah, this well. kind of makes more sense, I think. Yeah. Well, one is really long and one is really tall. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Normally, we'll put this in the CSS file or something. But yeah, there's the it's, it's, it is what it is. Web development. Okay. So, should I make a should I should I make a new JavaScript file? Uh, no, actually, all you need to do is delete the file, delete the line from the HTML, and then copy one of these into the, your existing JavaScript file. I think I'm going to keep the long one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you, like, select the entire line? Do you know the uh, shortcut? Yeah. So undo, undo your selection so I can show you. Uh, okay. Yeah, so click somewhere else and now now triple triple click on the line like three times quickly. Just anywhere. Oh. Dude. Cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna save me <laughs> so much time. <laughs> yeah, so two double click double click selects the word and triple click selects the line. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, so that's good. And then we just want to add that JavaScript to your to your JavaScript file. I think I have added it. No. Oh, no. So you want to delete you want to delete the div here and then add this one, right? Yeah, this sure. Thing. Yeah. But would this would not work, right? Not here in the Java in script.js. Yeah. So uh, should I keep the div here now? Oh, oh. So in over here, I should. Yeah, just we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in JavaScript instead. And I would do it um, after oh. this. Yeah, do it after there. And we can do a little simplification here. Okay. If we select everything from where your cursor is to before the dot, the second dot. So on line six. Yeah. Um, if you select everything from document to game map. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, including document as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now delete. I delete this? Yeah. And now MAP. MAT? MAP, map. And the reason why that works is that line three, we already we already did this. Whoa. Yeah. You know, we have, I'm not gonna, I, I need, you need to explain this. What did you just do? What? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So, so what did you, why, what is happening? How is this working? So look on line three. Look on line three. Once you understand what line three does, then you'll understand it all. Ah. Oh, that's neat. Man, yeah. I'm learning so much. Let's do it. Let's save it. Yeah, this is pretty magic. Okay. And you can save index.html too. Oh yeah, I should do that. Um, should we test it? Yeah, let's run it. Okay. It's not moving, but the character is showing up. So should we inspect? Let's yeah, let's get to the bottom of this. Character okay. is moving. Oh. Interesting. Let's go back to the code. Okay. And, it says uh, script. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Do you see what could be wrong? It's, it's close to what we just did. Mm. Uh, I have no, 
I don't know. Actually. Okay. Yeah. So let me just walk through line three, four, five, six. So okay. uh, line three, mm -hmm. uh, it looks at the HTML page and mm -hmm. finds the map. Yeah. Line it four. Finds... Yeah. It looks yeah. at the HTML page and then finds the character. Yeah. Line six, it creates the character. Ah, oh, so I think, shouldn't we create it first? Yeah. <laughs> so should we like delete this as well? Um, well, we just have to move it after we create it. Okay, so we should move this one line below this one? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, thanks. Should we run it again? Yeah. Oh, yep. That was the issue. But yeah. can, I, can I just dig a little deep for like two more minutes? Yeah, yeah, okay. sure. We have a few minutes left and then I'll have okay. to run. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I, so what was the issue we were making? What was the issue? Like there was a, Clearly, the order something was wrong with the order. Yeah. Oh, what was the reason behind it? Can you just iterate that, please? Yeah. Um, let me let me actually show you, um, and I will do something. I'll just do a little demo here. Okay. Yeah. So you can see this, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, went full screen. I can see. It. Cool. Nice. So, <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, Beck Zork, how's it going? So I'm going to do this. This is going to be my game map here. And um, I'm going to say in the job. So that's going to, let's just make that like background color white with pixels height. Just so we like have a little picture of what we are working with here. This is my. We gonna make it a little smaller so it's maybe make it green. Okay, so I've just created this div here, mm -hmm. my game map, and in JavaScript. So before what we had before was we had like a player and like let's say this is the player here. This yeah. is what we had. Yeah, this this makes uh we're I get it. This is just just HTML. Yeah. Um and then what we did was in the JavaScript um we did this. We, re we ran this sort of, think of it as a search, document dot get element by ID game map. So think of this as like a search. And when we run this search, well, that's, a, that, that's giving us a whole bunch of stuff, but really it's, it's finding that element. So it's, it's finding this, the maybe the built-in inspector is a little bit easier. So like if I use the built-in JavaScript, everything's getting so small here. <laughs> so if I, yeah. Use, yeah, that's <laughs> if I use this one here, um, you can see actually, if I do document.getElementById, um game map it's actually it's like it's it's actually a search of the page by the id yeah and if this one is player um i can also search for the player mm -hmm. uh, maybe i didn't refresh refresh it yet because it didn't or i have to 
affect it again, maybe. So there, okay. So now I have the player. Um, and we can use this. Um, we can use this in the code to sort of um, get those uh, to, to find those. Um, and we can even like we can even put stuff inside of that too. So by by adding to the inner HTML of something that we found, like we can we can actually put things inside of them. Oh, that's that's pretty awesome. So what we did before was instead of putting leaving this in the HTML, mm -hmm. we were actually just First, finding the game map, mm -hmm. and then inserting the player inside. Oh. Yeah. And if we do more, if we run this multiple times, you get more of them. If I do, you know. Oh, now, now, now! I actually, now I, I actually get what you were. I actually get what the issue was. If I do this as a loop, we got five of them. No. Yeah. So I, I, I get, I get what the issue was. We, we, uh, you know, we were creating the player before we were like inserting it. So obviously, if you correct the order, it's gonna work. But what I really, uh, what was interesting to me was that I didn't know that using document get element by id this dot inner html i did not know you could do that like you could that's pretty cool yeah and this is not the it's not really the most professional way to do it um yeah because it probably gets a lot messy to like read for other people and like understand what's what's happening yeah exactly um but I think like for pro prototyping and if you're trying to just like get something quick, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and we can always clean stuff. Like my strategy is like get it working first and then clean it up later. Yeah, that's so. that's generally a good strategy to have. Anyways, I think I've taken a whole hour of your time. I, the time went by so fast, like I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, but um, now that you figured out how to do that, you might be able to get WebSockets working try it um and either way we can do we can keep working on this another time um mm -hmm. so uh, I, I what i'll try to do is i'll try to get this on github mm -hmm. and i'll try to work on it on my own and pr probably like i'll try to like, use less gpt and just try to like do a bit more coding myself and like do it a bit more properly sure um, um because I just want to get back into into the practice of it. You know, it's I've been taking a break for it. It's I just think it, it's good for me to, you know, just get my feet wet a little bit. Yeah, sure. I think um, it's also might be nice sometimes to just like ask ChatGPT, look at the look at the answer, but then go actually write it from scratch yourself. That could be a nice. Yeah, answer. yeah. I think I think that is the approach I'm going to take. So definitely this time around and because i'm just gonna like try to make sure i write most of the stuff now and you know just ask chat gpt for clarifications or some things that i'm not understanding sure awesome good work can't wait to play this game uh -huh, yeah it's it's gonna be i've already decided a name it's called it's gonna be pota so it's pixel I don't know what OTA stands for, but instead of Dota, it'll be Boda. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be a fun game. Cool. I'm, I'm going to hopefully try to get it done in a month. That's very ambitious, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Cool. Anyways, James, it was really nice hanging out with you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. I, I, I learned a lot. Um. And for anyone who's watching, um, here's the repo of Make with GPT. 
Um, and we will be, uh, we'll build it, be building this again soon. So you can like all of you guys can also play the game as well. Yeah. And, uh, I, basically my, my idea was to make, make, make with GPT open source and try to get like other developers to, to contribute, but I'm not sure if it's the repository is set up correctly for that. So one of my like future aims is to get like different people to join and try to contribute if they want to, to the yeah. project. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That'll be fun. So um, uh, there's like a few prompt engineering things that I figured out and I would love to share that, you know, like for example, what I've figured out with ChatGPT is if you give it sequences, it will do much better. For example, if you, if you say, here's a complex task, I'm going to give you 10, 10 instructions, reply with okay, if you understand. So if you give it context, you know, of what you want to do, break it down, just like, just keep asking, do you understand, reply with okay. Just keep asking it questions and build up to your use case. And then, you know, ask it to write some code. The, the quality of the code that will come out will be much better. You know, and if, once you start exploring these technologies, you learn a little bit about them yourselves. And, you know, you can just like put certain things that it wouldn't think of. So you can just warn it, you know, think of this stuff or like think of this dependency or use this library. So, so I want to share that with the community and, you know, I want this to be a place where, you know, people who are just getting into, they get a feel for it, you know, because it's really exciting if you, if you build something and, you know, it's live and you can show it to your friends. I just, I just want more and more people to have that experience. Well, um, let's get it live next time. Actually. I think that would be amazing. Even if we just have little boxes moving around. Yeah. Um, there's already five people in the chat. So that means five little box, five players. Yeah, that would be, be pretty cool. Um, do you want to show the new, because a couple people just came in. Do you want to show them what um, what the game looks like now? Oh, OK. So there go. hello, everyone. Uh, so we're making a, a pixel Dota-like game called Boda. And you know we're going to have this map, and we're going to have different players, and we're going to fight each other probably in teams. So that's where we plan to take this. But right now, it's just a dude moving on a map. But hopefully, we'll get it started. Yeah. Yeah, and next, we just built in the multiplayer, but we just started to add in the multiplayer functionality. And next time, we are planning to get that live. It's made with, uh, right now, it's just made with JavaScript and WebSockets. That's it. No yeah, JS. Yeah. yeah. And probably uh, I'm going to stick to the Canvas API because that's something I'm actually familiar with and I know how to use it. So, but maybe because I'm the whole point of it is, you know, to make it like pixel, like no height, like it's going to be 2D movement that's going to mimic 3D movement or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fine for a beginner's project. The back end is yeah. Node.js is Node.js because uh, I've been researching into Node and I'm not really sure I understand it. Like it, it probably like from what I could gather, it enforces this paradigm of asynchronous. I don't know, that goes to code into deep. That goes like a bit deep into coding, but I don't think that's like a, appropriate for us to get into right now. But anyways, James, it was a lot of fun. I sure. love your streams. I love what you're doing for the community. You know, you, you, you're building so many amazing projects. Uh, I try to jump in as much as I can. I learn a lot. And thank you, everyone else, for tuning in. And hopefully, we can build amazing stuff together. Amazing. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye.